right, so there could be a lot of reasons that your Caterpillar 3.4B uh, breather valve is spitting out oil. Uh, a couple of reasons blow by. One of the biggest things we found is that nobody's replacing the fuel, uh, the oil filters inside that front case. Uh, from Caterpillar, that's what's going to look like. It looks like about the size of a hockey puck. Um, and uh, you just get that from Caterpillar, pick that up. Once you get it, this is exactly what it looks like. Just a little uh, filter, little circular filter. It's got, looks like, again, the size of a hockey puck. Not too bad. You just... Uh, Get it replaced here pull that top hose off set that aside and we're going to start taking off our uh, fan guard belt guard off of the alternator side um, and then take off the uh, fan guard and belt guard from the other side slide that all the way out set that off to the side make sure to remove the electrical connector and the hose connector that are on the front housing there right in your way you can just take those off and set them off to the side um, grab yourself your socket Loosen up all of the nuts that are on the studs there that hold that front cover on and then use some force Get that off there. Make sure the o-ring doesn't get damaged on that front case cover uh, Inside just grab yourself a pair of uh, right angled uh, snap ring pliers and get that snap ring off Make sure that thing doesn't shoot off somewhere uh, Make sure then when you go to, I like to take the top uh, valve actually off completely That way you can make sure there's nothing lodged in there. Or it's not Got a bunch of junk inside there that's causing that valve not to completely close, causing the uh, uh, excess oil to blow by. It shouldn't be. And there's a picture of what the snap rings should look like. Um, to get these little filters out of there, I just get myself a little pick to the right angle, get on the side of there, and pop that thing right out. And these ones get pretty nasty after a while, about 3,000 hours, 2,000 hours. Make sure you look around inside, make sure nothing is in there, a bunch of junk. After that, I like to uh, actually clean up that valve, make sure there's no oil on. There's the comparison of the old filter to the new filter. Um, get that one installed, get that snap ring back, set air inside that groove. Uh, and inspect the o-ring on that front cover. Make sure there's no uh, gouges on that or you'll have oil leaking out of there. Line it up with the studs, give it a nice firm push into there, make sure it's seated all the way. Um, then what I do is I just get the uh, nuts started pretty uh, easily and then I got to go look up how much the torque is on these and caterpillar says the torque on these should be 10 newton meters or 89 inch pounds get those tightened up and uh, slap the valve back on the top get that strapped down get the fan guards back in both sides make sure everything lines up make sure you get all those bolts back on there for the guard for the belt the belt guard and all that uh, grab the hose put that back on make sure your electrical connectors are put back on properly cleaned up make sure you push that hose on there solid and always make sure to throw that oil filter over uh, with the correct disposable stuff and uh, make sure you do the maintenance on your equipment